So tidbit HDR is one of the selling points of the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. Now we've seen this before in the past, but since you know the 7 Pro have got that new feature, a lot of people have been showing it online. I've been seeing a lot of videos and the footage people have been complaining about hasn't looked that great. Coming straight from camera to YouTube. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys side-by-side -side comparison between 4K 30 frames per second in the regular camera app and 10-bit HDR, the before, and then I'm gonna try my best to edit it to get it dialed down to a usable viewing situation. Now, I'm not th uh, the best at color grading and I'm not the best at trying to fix stuff like that, but I will do my best in this video. So let's go out to the park and have some fun. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. All right guys, so I'm out here at the park. And when I wanna show you guys in this video, the difference between a 10-bit HDR versus the regular camera. Now, what you're looking at right now is 4K 30 frames per second in the regular camera app. And as you can see, it's beautiful. The image is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the sky is nice and blue. It's pretty. The water is shimmering. Everything looks absolutely amazing. Now, it is a fundamental difference between 10-bit HDR versus the regular camera app. And I've been noticing that as I've been shooting a lot of uh, video, that it is a difference in image quality. Uh, when, you, when you put it on HDR 10-bit, it's pulling in so much information. It's, uh, you have to fix some of this stuff in post. Uh, but I want y'all guys to see this. This is the regular camera app on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now this image right here is absolutely beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to 10-bit HDR so y'all guys can see the difference in quality. So check this out. All right guys, so here it is. This is 10-bit HDR. And as you can see, the image is much brighter, uh, kind of overexposed a little bit. Uh, it's pulling in a lot of information, a lot of colors. Now here, when I look at this image, it you know makes me want to make sure I put it in my video editing software and kind of dial down to some of these settings. As you can see, it's definitely bright. Now I'm going to put uh, both images side by side so y'all guys can see the images between the regular camera app, which is in 4K 30 frames per second, and this 10-bit HDR. So look at this. It is a fundamental difference between both. Now. The HDR shot, if you look at that, you would think that, oh my God, it's, it's overexposed. It's, you know, it's, the highlights is blowed out. Uh, I mean, the shadows is crushed. Uh, it looks really bad. But I believe that uh, when you put this in your editing software, you have to dial down some of these settings. So this is a 10-bit HDR on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I'm going to move to another part of the park and uh, we're going to talk more about it. It is a fundamental difference in color and contrast and uh, brightness when you're going from 4K 30 frames per second in the regular camera app mode versus 10-bit HDR. I've been noticing that a lot of people that's been uh, shooting at 10-bit HDR look a little overexposed. The background look like it's, uh, it's overexposed. A lot of stuff is going on. Uh, so what I'm gonna demonstrate here is I'm going to shoot in 10-bit HDR and I'm gonna try to edit it and pull it back a little bit so it can look better. It may not look better. I don't know, I'm gonna let y'all guys be the judge for yourself, but 
This is the regular camera app at 4K, 30 frames per second. Let me know how I look. This is the regular camera app. And uh, let's go ahead and switch to 10-bit HDR so y'all guys can see the difference. Okay, so this is 10-bit HDR. And as you can see, the unedited version, the highlights is bright. I'm, I'm bright. The background is bright. You see a, a lot difference between 4K and 10-bit uh, HDR. So y'all guys see this, right? It's totally, some people might say it's unusable. But I'm going to go in the video editing software that I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to give you, I'm going to dial it down a little bit so y'all guys can see the difference between this part of the shot and me trying to edit it down to make it more viewable. So I'm going to stand up here and I'm going to do a cut scene and let y'all guys see the difference between this and the edited version of HDR. So there you have it, 10-bit HDR on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now I did my best to try to dial it down uh, to give it a much pleasing viewing. My recommendation is wait for some software updates uh, for Google to fix some of these issues. Now, yes, I have documented that uh, you know cinematic mode is has some issues need to be fixed. Also, some uh, slight overheating issues uh, with the device. You know, hopefully, software updates will fix that. All right, that's it. This is Dr. Tech Preacher from Easy Computer Solutions. All my coverage of the Google Pixel 7 Pro going deep dive about the device, no matter what, good, the bad, the ugly, no fluff, no pads is here. But if you want to see more uh, of the Google Pixel 7 Pro, click this video right here. Click this video right here and I'm going to be in the comments. This is Eric. See you guys on the next video. Peace.